All right, so we want to continue our talk on databases. And like I mentioned before, we'll be using Microsoft Access to create our database. In this particular lesson, we want to take a look at four main objects that make up your database in Microsoft Access. Number one is our tables. So at this point, you should know or you should understand that the database is a collection of data that is organized into several connected lists, right? In Access, all data is stored in table, which means that table is the heart of your database. So it means that all the data that you're collecting, you're stacking them into tables. Now, you might also know that tables are organized into vertical columns and horizontal rows. And if you remember what we did in Excel, Excel itself is organized into tables. So if you take a look at these tables, we can see then that a, we can see that a row is referred to as a record and columns um, gives us our field names. A field is more than just a column. It is a way of organizing your information by type of data that it holds. Every piece of information within a field is of the same data type. For example, if you have a field called first name, and remember now that's your column, um, every entry would be of that type of a text that represents a name of a person or the first name of a person. Likewise, if you have a field called age, then you expect all the types to be a number, which would be the age of those corresponding persons. So two things comes to mind, again, when dealing with tables, you have field names and you have records. And remember now that records, they go across rows. Another object that comes to mind when dealing with access is forms. And forms essentially is that area um, or that interface that you use to enter or view data. Think back to you filling in or applying for a new email address or going to a website and filling in something with your information. What you're filling in there is a form. So forms are used to enter or view data from your database table. So we can already see that corresponding link as shown here in the diagram. Queries is another database object. Queries is simply an answer to a question. So it is the data resulting from the question you ask to one or more tables. Keeping in mind that your database can contain many tables and they, are all, they can all be related, which is then what we call relational database. The other database object to mention is reports and reports are formatted summaries of data that is suitable for printing. I like to think of reports as information that is now produced by your database. Remember that information is processed data and so if I request a particular query then I can use that query as report. It means then that I'm getting useful information from my database. So again, our four database objects linked together creates our database. And those are your tables, your forms, your queries, and your reports. See if there's any other terms that you can find that is normally used in Microsoft Access. See if there's any other useful objects that you may find that is used in Microsoft Access. See you in the next video.